Greetings from Punto Bianco Dental Clinic. Presently, we are conducting a groundbreaking procedure involving the placement of six dental implants using surgical guides known as Techable or Lego. These guides enable us to insert both the implants and the temporary fixed dentures during a single operation. We have meticulously prepared and sterilized the dentures in advance for immediate placement in the patient's mouth. You see, all of these components have been previously manufactured in order to have the capability to perform this procedure and more. We planned every implant down to the millimeter in accordance with the plan. It was carefully planned and a report was generated to ensure that we accurately insert the implants in the correct location. The patient is currently sleeping. As you can observe, the treatment will be completely finished while she is in a state of sleep. We have the anesthesiologist in the office who will guarantee a safe and comfortable treatment for patients and will initiate the procedure. So these are the initial set of guides, the fundamental guide and the guide for fixing pins. that these haircuts have certain unique heels that come to a stop in the guide and do not allow us to take them deeper than we initially anticipated. The surgeon doctor in turn chooses a bigger and bigger drill to clean the cavity. The stability of the implant is rather impressive, so we have a stability of over 30, 60 newtons, which allows us to load the implant immediately without any hesitation or concerns about its durability or performance. We also possess the models of the patient's upper and lower teeth. They are as sterile as we can measure the terals that will be inserted into the mouth. These are the articulated models of the patient's arches. This will be the situation post-tooth extraction and will continue until the insertion of the remaining four implants in place of the extracted tooth. In my hand, I have two models of the same patient. So this is the initial situation with the patient with the still present teeth. Here is already the model of the extracted teeth. This is an illustration of how our hygiene should look like after the surgical procedure has been completed and proper care has been taken. These are the teeth prepared prior to the surgery. That is how the patients should emerge from our surgery. So now the doctor has taken out a part of the surgical guide in order to be able to extract the teeth scheduled for extraction. Why is it important to have backup guides? The initial one with us broke during the operation, so we had the second one and we continued with the intervention without any interruption. The implants were inserted using a surgical guide. So they changed the implant with a bigger size. So I made a reservation, right? Yeah, I made a backup and it worked perfectly. I decided to upgrade to a larger implant and afterwards we were finally able to achieve the level of stability that we needed. As a result of this positioning, in which he dresses the same way as shown in the fixing guide, we were able to visually check and verify if the holes in the prosthesis and the position of the multi-units coincide with each other during the examination. At one of the implants we positioned, there was a minor variance, so now the surgeon will modify the multi-unit and make adjustments to the angle in order to ensure a perfect fit within the denture. Without this positioning, it would be impossible to check or at least more complicated. 
and we would believe that in the end we would throw away the prosthesis and go with the standard protocol. Here we're still pretty confident that it'll turn out well in the end. The surgical part has been finished, now the prosthetist has arrived. We're checking the position at multiple units, the position at individual deviations that will come out through prosthetics. And from what we see, a little adjustment is needed, which Mel Depot will do now. So our intervention is almost over, not just the intervention but also the prosthetic part. The prosthetist doctor is fixing a visor that I made before the surgery and everything is great. We're waiting for the patient to wake up so we can take the final pictures with her teeth in her mouth already 